Hello, my name is John, and this is the Mask Face Journal, and this is what I read this week. Green Arrow, number 8, written by Benjamin Percy and art by Otto Schmidt. We're back with Ollie this issue, stranded on an island. Not THE island, but AN island. He has spent the last few days there alone, basically reverting to his base instincts, with the only objective being survival. That changes when he finds Black Canary stranded there with him. It goes from isolated hellhole to happy days on Bang Island. There's more going on on this island though, for some reason a robot bear is roaming the woods, working security for what appears to be a cocaine manufacturing facility. Because everybody knows that robot bears make the best security guards. Anyway, this is a pretty slow issue. It serves to further Ollie's and Dinah's relationship more than deliver action, but it's also a setup for this new story arc. There's a bit of character stuff, which I always appreciate, and Ollie talks about making chili, which I'm not sure has been a thing in the New 52, so that's nice. Justice League, number 6, written by Brian Hitch and art by Matthew Clark and Tom Dernick. This issue begins at the end of some random battle, where the Justice League is fighting some sort of fear entity that makes all of the leaguers overcome by fear. They're on the brink of defeat when the new Green Lantern Jessica somehow defeats it. What follows is what can only be described as a downtime. Superman goes home to Lois and John, Green Lantern Simon and Cyborg go for a football game, and Jessica and Barry Allen go on a date. Which is weird because his girlfriend just died. Anyway, I'm not going to go into any more detail, because I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it does get more interesting than that. I sincerely hope that this makes more sense than the previous story did, because that was weird. Batman number 8, story by Tom King and Steve Orlando and art by Riley Rosmo, and Nightwing number 6, story by Steve Orlando and Tim Seeley and art by Rogue Antonio. Talking about these two parts together again this time. Last time I talked about the racing stakes and the situation becoming more and more overwhelming. Yeah, about that. These two issues basically resolves all of that. This mini event is turning out to be less interesting than I thought it would be. I talked about Hugo Strange's Endgame. Well, it seems to be the same thing as the last time it was a significant threat in a Batman book, which is a bit disappointing. The most interesting thing in these two books, at least to me, is the use of Clayface on the team. He's a genuinely likable character in this, and Batman uses him to form some kind of mech armor around him at one point, and that was pretty cool. One part of this to go in next week's Detective Comics. Superman number 8, written by Peter Tomasi and art by Patrick Gleason. This was a weird one. John and Superman are working on a science project for school in the Fortress of Solitude, and all of a sudden, the project decides to absorb some of the fortress's Kryptonian crystals and teleports John, Superman and Crypto to an island littered with World War II munitions and dinosaurs. I don't really want to say anymore, but this issue builds to a reveal that is really interesting. The implications of that ending are fascinating. I still love Dad Superman and I'm very interested in John's development. I just wish Lois had a bigger part of the stories. Being relegated to just being the mom is quite frankly wasting that character. The Flintstones, number four, written by Mark Russell and art by Steve Pug. I love this book. I love this book. I love how it balances puns, dark humor, clever jokes, and emotional honesty with biting social satire. This time, it satirizes bigotry and makes fun of certain right-wing talking points. It also explains how human and animal relations works in this world and how it came to be that way. Again, I can't stress this enough. I love this book. Please read it. So that was what I read this week. Did you enjoy this video? Please like, comment, subscribe and share this video. If you did not enjoy it or disagree with me, please let me know in the comments. And uh, that is it for this week. Bye.